Mmm, hot honey. Do you know how to make it? Well, I'm going to show you the pain-free, easy way to make this delicious hot honey. Mmm, mmm. You're going to need a few things. You're going to need a knife, washing up gloves, chilies. There's two kinds here, rocket chilies and scotch bonnets. A, that's a strainer thing, right? Yes. A funnel, several clean jars, a slow cooker. All will become clear. Oh, I didn't introduce myself. Hello, I'm the Impish Scribe. I've chosen two kinds of chilies. These are Scotch bonnets. Those are rocket chilies. Scotch bonnets have a slightly more fruity taste to them, and rocket chilies, they're more fresh, if you like. Um, first things first, you're going to have to chop them, and you will need the gloves and the knife. You know how to chop things, right? Oh, okay. You're also going to need jars because you have to put honey in them and chilies. What before you do anything at all, well, with regards to this, basically, um, give them a wash with some washing up liquid and hot water, and then you put them in the oven at the lowest setting for an hour. This helps to sterilize them. You also need honey, but you kind of guessed that. I mean. There's magic in the air, but I'm not sure if I can magic up um, honey out of nowhere. I've chopped up some of the rocket chilies. How much you add to the like blend, as it were, determines how hot it is. If you add, say, one teaspoon, it's going to be mildly pleasing. Um, but if you add, say, two, that's going to ramp up all the heat and um, so forth. So. You can also do the three chilies, four chilies individually if you like, but for ease of convenience I've pre-chopped them, which is pretty organised of me, but I'm being organised for you guys. I went for five teaspoons, which I just scooped in, yes. And then what you do with the honey, pour it in slowly. It's about patience, because there will be air bubbles, so you just do it like this, let it drip, uh, done, right, and then any air bubbles kind of like will form as opposed to just you're almost done and then there's a massive air bubble type burp of honey. I remember someone saying patience is a virtue, but I was born a month premature, so I'm possibly not the best person to ask about patience, but yeah, there you go. You just keep doing it until it's done. Like so much in life. And just keep doing... Just taking little breaks. You got the idea? You can also line it up so that the jar is on top of the jar and every last delicious drop of honey goes in. Then you put them into this, the slow cooker. Look. Once both are in there, you're gonna need this, a jug of water. Not just for decorative purposes, you kind of pour it in. And you pour some of it on the... That's okay. Yeah. That's why you put the jars in first, otherwise they just bobble about. Science! I put in about a jug and a half. The objective is that the jars are almost covered with water. Then you put the lid on. This one's from Morphe Richards. Oh, I wasn't sponsored by them. It's just that I am. As opposed to 20. If you want to send me one Morphe Richards, I'm pretty down with this. Yeah, you get to see one. Uh, subscribe if you want to. If you don't, you don't.
You plug the slow cooker in. This one's by Morphe Richards. I wasn't sponsored by them. They didn't give me this to um, use for this video, but I, this one is from Morphe Richards. It's not a bad one. And then you put it on to, not high, low, and you leave it for two hours. Um, there are other recipes for chilli honey or hot honey, which say that you can do it in a saucepan, but uh, if you've ever tried the combination of cooking chili honeys and yeah without a lid your, your eyeballs and nose tend to react in a way that's like oh my gosh I'm breathing fire so anyway you put it on low for hmm about three hours gives it a really nice caramelized um, texture um, four if you're feeling a bit racy two is fine so yeah the slow cooker does all the hard work for you. And time is a wonderful thing. Look, I did this one last night for you. Uh, this one has the scotch bonnet, so uh, now follows the last bit. Now it's time for the funnel and the, is it a treat, tea strainer? Yeah, it is. But basically like a baby sieve. If you've got a cocktail one, that's fine. But yeah, you slot it in like that, then you need the jar. Then you put the jar like this, and you put that like that. With the honey that's been chillified, you pour it in really slowly. This is a lengthy process. You just do it in bits and bobs and odds and sods and just let it slowly strain. Repeat the process until it's all done. It's inordinately soothing watching the honey bee strained and um, collected into the jar below. Like the previous process, you just do it in little steps. There you go. Apologies for the brief glimpse of the radiator thingamy. Oh yeah, there are kids screaming because they're playing football and they can't seem to play football without screaming. Mind you, I don't remember playing football without screaming. Ah, the joys of being a kid. Uh, for people viewing on transatlantically in the States, hi! Um, there are kids playing what you guys call soccer. Yeah, British people really pride themselves on soccer and yet every World Cup, the same thing happens. Hopes are dashed. Tears are wept. Maybe next time, right? You've got to try. That's all we can ever do. Ah, yeah, that's done. Welcome back. And with a teaspoon, like this one, you just scoop up the chilli honeys. You can put them into a jar like this it's just really handy if you as an ingredient you didn't know you had but proves itself really versatile you can add it to soups curry stir fries um, stock 
Okay, now it's stuck to the spoon. It's going to take a while to drip. Yeah, it's moved a bit, but it's not going down. Um, you can also add it to chai tea. Yay! Val. Because the seeds are what make it quite potent. And one last drop. Um, yeah. So you have a nice little stash of a like secret niche ingredient. Put the lid on. And there you have it, hot honey or chilli honey. Um, you can drizzle it over your pizzas, over vegetables um, before roasting them in the oven, meat, uh, tofu, fish. Uh, you can, oh, it's just, it's so versatile. You can even have it as is with some Greek yogurt, which I personally love. It's the absolute shiz with some feta cheese or burrata, but yeah. I hope you have lots of fun with um, making it and um, it also makes a great present as well though possibly not for vegans because you know honey vegan yeah they can't really have it but yeah there you go hot honey I'm the Empress Scribe subscribe if you want to there'll be more lolly content quite soon